we will be studying about the pericardium of the heart also we will study about the sinuses which is present in the pericardium of the heart so one we will study about the transverse sinus another we will study about the oblique sinus also we will study the heart in situ so before we reflect the heart what all structures we are seeing so how it appears so now what you see over here so this is the pericardium of the heart so this pericardium actually there are three layers of pericardium which is surrounding the heart so this is the outermost layer so this outermost layer is called the fibrous pericardium of the heart so now once when we reflect this layer so inside that there will be two more layers two more layers and those layers are called the serous layer of pericardium and that is again divided into two layers so one is the visceral layer which is completely surrounding the surface of the heart one more is the parietal layer which is attached to this fibrous layer of pericardium so the layers which is surrounding the heart this outermost that is the uh, that is the fibrous layer of pericardium this is the parietal layer of pericardium and this is the visceral layer of pericardium so now if you see this heart in c2 so what all you can see over here so this entire thing what you are seeing here so this is the right atrium of the heart whereas this portion so this is the right ventricle of the heart and this is the left ventricle of the heart so actually here there will be a groove which is separating the right ventricle from the left ventricle so here this groove will be called the eight, uh, interventricular groove so the blood vessel which is present over here so this is the anterior interventricular artery so what all we saw so here this was the right atrium this is the right ventricle this is the left ventricle and here this is the apex of the heart so you can see here so this portion of the heart is resting over the diaphragm so below this muscle is the diaphragm and this is the diaphragmatic surface of the heart which is resting over the diaphragm then other structures what you are seeing over here so this is the aorta so here you can see this is the ascending aorta then this portion this is the pulmonary trunk so this is the aorta this is the pulmonary trunk now coming to the sinuses so first is the transverse sinus so for transverse sinus see if i am passing my finger i am passing it below the aorta and below the pulmonary trunk so you can see here so this is the transverse sinus so just below the aorta and below the pulmonary trunk so this is a transverse sinus another sinus which is present is called the oblique sinus so for oblique sinus uh before seeing that we will see this so in this right atrium this portion what is what is present here so this is the superior vena cava so this is the superior vena cava and this is the inferior vena cava so this inferior vena cava will extend into this uh, diaphragm so for boundaries for the oblique sinus if you see this oblique sinus will be present behind the left atrium so in this region there is the left atrium so behind that will be the oblique sinus so the boundaries will be like left side it will be two left pulmonary veins whereas right side two right pulmonary veins and also this in, uh, inferior vena cava so for oblique sinus what you are supposed to do is you are supposed to th towards this diaphragmatic surface you are supposed to pass these fingers and it has to extend behind the uh, left atrium so this is how we palpate for, we see for the oblique sinus of the heart